Hello friends, welcome. Friends, in the morning, I just recorded this video and posted two hours back. So this video, if you see this video, this video is a title why 5G millimeter wave 26 gigahertz phones are expensive. Now, when I was going through the comment section, somebody made a very strange kind of question to me. The question is that 5G 3500 megahertz band, when he does a speed test, Outdoor, he is getting a speed only of 150 to 200 Mbps in case of Reliance Geo's network. But he do go, if he goes indoor and does the same speed, speed test, he is getting 350 to 400 in some special cases 500 Mbps. Now, why it is like this? What is the main reason for this behaving so erratically? Because we know that 3500 MHz band, outdoor uh, you know, coverage is going to be better. Signal strength is going to be better and if you go indoor, the signal does not penetrate indoor and therefore the indoor signal strength is going to be less and therefore you have to get lower speed if you are inside the house because it does not penetrate well inside your house. So why it is that outdoor speeds are higher, uh, are lower and indoor speeds are higher. Now there could be many reasons. I don't want to get into multiple reasons but the most obvious reason that looks to me is about interference and I will explain to you using a simulation. So there are two simulations I am going to run uh, before you. One is outdoor. If you are outdoor and what kind of interference that you might be seeing from different base station and when you are indoor and why you are seeing a lesser interference. So let me run the simulation and you will be able to understand very nicely what is going on. So you see that there are three different BTSs which are of the same 3.5 gigahertz band, right? Which you talked about. Now, these three BTSs are serving your phone, but they are located in such a way that the network is not properly optimized when you are outdoor. So let me just continue the simulation. So here you are, you know, you're standing here. This is your phone, right? And these three BTSs are radiating. Now you can see how the signal reaches your phone. So the first BTS is, is transmitting the signal like this and it hits your phone. Other BTSs are also transmitting signal and it hits your phone. Now what is happening is there are multiple signals which are coming from different phones and if it is not properly optimized then what will happen? This signal which is coming to your phone from these two neighboring BTSs will be treated as noise and there will be packet loss and therefore the signal to noise ratio is going to go down. You see? SNR is going to go down and your outdoor thing, signals are going to become very noisy and therefore you are going to get a speed of around 150-200 Mbps because of packet loss, right? So you understand now why you are getting a lower speed, right? Now let's run a situation which is indoor, right? Similar situation. So where the same BTSs are located, you see, same BTSs are located in the same area, but you have gone inside your house. Now it is your, this is your house, right? This is your house. So this is the window and you are standing near the window and this is just your roof of your house, okay? Now if I run this and you see that the signal penetrate directly from, this is the BTS which is serving, it signal somehow goes inside the window, right? It happens to go straight to the window, window, right? The other BTSs are located in a very difficult situation which does not reach your window, right? Because this is a two-dimensional picture, you may not be able to get a very good feel of it, but you can see that both the signals actually are not able to reach your phone. They are getting obstructed by this building. And therefore, what is happening is that you are your phone. Let me just again go to the end of the simulation and you see that your phone is being served only by this BTSs, BTS. And therefore, you are getting a speed of 300, 350 to 500 Mbps because this interference which was coming from the neighboring BTSs is somehow getting mitigated. So this is a very strange situation. It should not happen like that. It is all about network optimization. See, the problem is with a wireless technology is that even if there is a base station which is very near and you are getting very good quality signal and it is all five bars or four bars are showing on your handset, there is no guarantee there will be no packet loss. See, that's why the small cells, when you deploy small cells, it's a big risk. And that is the reason why if you go to Airtel's uh, annual report, they are saying that because of this packet loss, when the signal strengths are pretty high. Now, if you go to the same outdoor thing, let me just go here. 
and I run the simulation again. And here, if you see in a situation like this, what will happen? The signal strength that you're going to get on your phone will be pretty high, right? But these interference is going to create packet loss in your phone. But the RF networks are not designed to switch to a more comfortable BTS uh, just because there is a packet loss. And this transition from one BTS, one base station to another base station depends upon power. So what Bharti has done is they have now converted that into a situation where as soon as packet losses are detected, that actually decide whether to take signal from this, this BTS or this BTS, how to mitigate this interference. See, RF is all about mitigating interference. Better your optimization is, the network optimizes, better the quality of your reception would be. So in near future, this network optimization will become automatic. Even with 5G also, there are a lot of automatic optimization which took to take place because it becomes very difficult for a person to go and down till this antenna because what will happen, it will down till this antenna so that it does not reach you. It kind of goes and attenuates here and by striking the earth. And so you are being served only by this base station. So there has to be a lot of such optimization which is going to be required. And since there are a lot of cutler clutters, you know, like these houses, you know, may not be favorably placed or maybe favorably placed, you may get similar kind of issues. I hope that you know these two simulation is able to answer your question. Uh, I, that is the best way to you know answer questions. You know using simulation. I hope that you like the uh, method that I have started using now. I would I really hope that more and more people get benefited by this kind of simulation technique that I am following to answer questions. And I'll use this method more and more with time with different videos that I am doing. It is much more powerful than doing it static videos. Thank you friends for your time. I will come back with a new video next time on a new topic. Thank you very much.